Hello students, yet another video of surface area and volumes. Now this is a very very informative video and a very important one for all class 8th, 9th, 10th standard students. Especially class 10th who are going to appear in uh, board exams in May 2021. The concept relates to the surface area of combination of solids. You know, whenever two or more solids are combined together, then what is the surface area? I just wanted to produce this informative video just because, you know, students get confused in the basic concept and thereby lose so many marks in exams. So if the concept is good, then finding the answers will not be a big deal uh, with regard to surface area and volume chapters. Let's see this concept of surface area. Now see, the first concept is, like suppose you have combination of figures. Now when we talk of combination, normally we have two figures which are combined together. Like suppose there is a cone which is surmounted on a hemisphere. So this cone is surmounted on this hemisphere. So what happens here is if you have to find the total surface area of this solid TSA of solid then TSA normally when the students see this word TSA total surface area then they tend to think that we have to use the formulas of total surface area of cone and the hemisphere which are joined together but that is not the case if this particular solid is produced by combining these two particular solids then the base which I am shading right now this base this is not visible because that's where the two solids are combined together and that particular circular part goes inside the solid. So that surface area is not at all visible. So if you have to find the total surface area of this solid, then only the curved surface area of the conical part and curved surface area of the hemispherical part is left out and that's what we have to do for finding the total surface area of this solid. This is CSA of cone plus CSA of hemisphere. So I am not uh, going into the details, the formula. This is basically a conceptual video for developing the understanding, not for solving problems. Let's see another such figure. Uh, you may have seen a circular, uh, like a circular circus tent. So that is basically conical on the top like this and cylindrical at the bottom. So here also you can see the part which is joined, the face at which the two solids are joined. If you have to find the total surface area of the canvas re required, TSA of canvas required to make this tent, then it will be equal to the curved surface area of the cone plus the curved surface area of the cylinder. So only the curved surface areas concept is used here. But you know this is not the case every time. You may have a combination of a, like a, a, a solid, uh, two solids rather, in which the entire surface is not the same, the surface which are joined together. So let's take the example of a cube and we have placed an inverted hemisphere on the cube. A very important question for class 10 students. Just watch this. So let's have this particular cubical solid. So I am drawing one cube here. This is the cube. Join corner to corner you get the exact shape of a cube. Now this is a cube. Now we are placing a hemisphere on it like this. Now I want to find the surface area of this particular solid. Now see when I, when, I, when I talk of the total surface area of this solid, now it all depends on understanding whether you will be getting the formula correctly or not. First thing is some part of the top surface is left uncovered. See I am just shading that part. Now this part is left uncovered, the corners of the top, they are left uncovered. 
So if you see this solid from the top, this will be like a square and a circle which is just touching all the sides like this, right? So this part is the uncovered part. Now this is what you need to take care of because this is what the students miss out. So the four walls and the base, it remains the same. So if the side is A, then 5A square is the area of four walls and the base. They are intact because uh, nothing has covered it, right? And what about the hemisphere, the curved surface area plus the CSA of hemisphere and plus now the corners. So for finding the area of the corners, you need to take the area of the square and subtract the area of the circle from that. So basically this is A square, which is the area of the square and minus pi r square, which is the area of the circle. So the formula for this will be like 5a square and a square will give me 6a square. Curved surface area of hemisphere is 2 pi r square and from that I subtract 1 pi r square. So I will get plus pi r square. So this is how you derive the formula for the total surface area of a particular solid. Very very important concept and if you can develop the understanding you can solve any such question. So let me take one more example. Now this is going to be really important. Just watch what am I doing here. I am drawing a cube again. A cube again. So this is a cube. Fine. Now instead of placing the hemisphere uh, inverted on the top surface like this, I am trying to dig out or cut out a hemisphere from the cube. So the circle will be as it is touching all the sides of the top surface and it will be like this. So I am taking out, I am cutting out this, hollowing out the hemisphere from the cube. Now I have to find the total surface area of the remaining solid. Many of the students, you know, they will be like, okay, total surface area of cube minus the surface area of the hemisphere. No. The subtraction part takes place only in case of volumes because the volume is going to decrease but the surface area is not going to decrease. Surprisingly, even for this solid, just as this solid, whether you place a hemisphere or a cut out a hemisphere, the formula is going to remain the same 6a square plus pi r square that will again be the formula for total surface area of this solid, total surface area of solid which is left behind. So friends, understanding, you know, that's what is required to qualify for, you know, your uh, competitive exams and uh, crack all these questions of surface area and volume at class 10th level in board exams. Talking of uh, practice, you know, all the practice modules of class 10th are available on the website www.sureshagarwal.in and uh, if you want a copy of the 51 uh, practice modules which are enough for uh, preparation of your class 10th exams, you can WhatsApp me 9896369963 is the number you need to uh, uh, you know use for sending me a message. Very very nominal cost associated with those modules but I am sure you are going to find them amazing for your board exams. So friends, please share this video with, with most of the 8th, 9th, 10th and 10th standard students who are struggling in surface area and volume chapter so that they can have basic understanding of how to use the concept of surface area, uh, you know, in the most effective manner. So friends, I hope you have subscribed the channel by now because it contains hundreds of informative videos for you. And if you have not done it, please subscribe it and do click the bell icon for getting all the notifications of future uploads. Thanks for watching this.